Uh, hello, MET240 students. Now I'm about to show you how to create a guide block, which is the uh, five, fifth five from your um, homework two. So copy paste the file name. First, make sure you are the right project. Check your path to the H drive, MET240, and your right location. And then select a new part. And in this case, again, it will be in inches. So standard inch, create. And I can open this origin. And then I'll save as this file with the right name, which is, um, I, I, copy, I will copy paste it, which is the guide block. And then I will use here my first and my last name. Okay. And then I will start. So let me open the origin again. I will use the, for 2D sketch, I will use the XY plane. And I will start by creating the box here, which is 3.62 by 2. And then the other one is 1. Uh, that would be my extrude number. So 3.62 by 2. So let me open Inventor, <clears throat> Rectangle, here. Okay, so uh, here I will use the 3.62, and the other one will be 2. Middle mouse key twice, so I zoom in what I have. Finish sketch, middle mouse key twice, and then extrude by 1.5. And now, <clears throat> now I would like to remove, uh, you see here what I have, the middle one. And the, uh, here I have 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And I can easily remove that uh, with option shell. So you see I will use the option shell. And I will select this face and this face. And then I would like this to be 0 0.25. And you see, I removed the inside in this that way. So that was the shell option. And all I want to select is where the holes will be, like two faces. And then uh, I can remove this angle here. So you see, I have 60. And I have, no, I just have that 60. That's all I need, basically, to remove something from there. So I'll, I'll go to create sketch in this plane. And all I need is the line from this point going somewhere and to that point. And I'll dimension this to be 60. 60. That's all I need. Oh, is this correct? Six. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. The other should be 60. So I'm going Control Z from here to there. This should be 60. And then finish. And then I'll go to extrude and I'll select this region, make this cut through all, and that's all I need. And then I will make this other step. You see now I have 30 here from 1.63. So you see here this dimension and 30, these two are, are important for my feature. So I'll go create two dimensional sketch here. And all I need is a line from somewhere on this line to somewhere in this line here. And then I can use dimension from here to here. And this would be 1.63. And then I will do dimension like this from here to here. This would be 30. And that's all I need. So this region will be my extrude region. So I will say, say extrude this region and change this to cut and say through all. And that's all I need in this case. And um, I can create the hole. You see here I have a hole, which is 0 0.75, 1, and 1 1.5, and it will go through all. So I'll, I'll use the hole option, face, select the face. Diameter should be 0 0.75. My first reference, let's use this one. This is one. And then my second reference will be this one. That would be 1.5. And I hit enter and I have a hole. And I need one more feature, which is this rectangular shape. You see 0 
and 1 0 0.75. So all I need are these two dimensions, nothing else. So I'm going back to Inventor, create two-dimensional sketch, click here. And all I will create is one rectangular shape here. And I will dimension it. So I have here, this is 0 0.75. And I have the other one. Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't want this one. So let me select the smaller line, which is 0 0.5. That's all I need. Finish sketch, and then extrude, select the region, flip this to cut, and then through all, and that's it. And accept, and this is all that you need to create for this part, and save.